Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Check out me vlogging all the time. Who do I think I am? These are probably really boring so my life really isn't that interesting but I just felt like picking up the camera today and having a bit of a chat. Today is Tuesday. I usually don't work today. Sorry I've just had to move because I wanted my drink. So because of bank holiday yesterday I decided to work today instead because i wasn't working yesterday well i was working i had one client in that was in the morning so didn't really count so i'm working today instead i started work really early this morning and i should be finishing about half past three today which isn't too bad i need to go and take my tablets which this has reminded me because i wanted to speak to you guys about something so in my last vlog i was talking about how my clients was like up and down well yesterday i felt fine in the morning also please excuse my hair i need to wash it at some point today and i don't wear makeup when i'm working because i have a mask on and it gives me spots hence all these spots so that's that anyway I've, i feel like i'm getting a bit all over the show right now what i'm trying to say is yesterday i started work at 8am finished about 20 to 10 had my breakfast felt completely fine and then I went to go to the toilet. This is right, like TMI, by the way. So I'm sorry if you're a bit funny about like blood and talking about bowel diseases. You might want to skip this part. Went to the toilet and noticed that I'd been bleeding. Um, it wasn't a lot. It was only a little bit. About half a teaspoon, I'd say. A quarter of a teaspoon. It really wasn't a lot whatsoever. But still, it panicked me a lot because like it's not nice when you see it because i know what it means like i know that it means that i'm not well and it explains a lot as well because obviously i've been so tired recently then when i noticed i just kind of felt like i went completely downhill we nipped out to go and get some stuff for our fish and then we came back i fell asleep for like three hours I woke up fell asleep again for an hour and a half and then had three hours sleep last night so I'm a bit not with it today because first of all my stomach is cramping and I'm not feeling very well and yeah my colitis just is a bit not great today but it's fine I thought I'd vlog anyway I'm gonna really have to go and take my medication now I'm gonna forget otherwise I'm gonna go and grab my tablets me again <laughs> so I've just got my tablets I thought I'd show you guys mum got me this it's like a little tablet box and all you do is like press it and it'll get on to the next day it's really really good but what i do is i actually have two tablet boxes i've got like a massive one and then i've got this one so what i'll do is i'll fill up on a sunday both boxes so that i don't have to fill up any boxes for two weeks but i thought i'd show you guys my meds show you what i take so obviously at the moment this medication is aimed for me when i'm well and obviously i'm not well right now but i don't really have time today to be ringing my nurses so i'm just gonna stick with my tablets that i'm on at the moment the problem was that i might have forgot a couple of days of my tablets and i've been really stressed that's probably why i'm not feeling very well so i'm gonna stick at this dose of medication for a week and see how i get on probably sounds really irresponsible to some people that have an ibd but i have been dealing with mine for like i don't know how many years 22 years in july it'll be so i kind of know how to work it so i'm gonna wait a week so i get on on the medication that i'm on make sure i remember to take it and just do some things to calm my stress and hopefully i should be fine but i thought i'd show you guys what i take just in case someone else has an ibd and they're like oh we take the same medication or whatever so yeah this is my morning tablet i have um acicol also known as mazalazine and these are the 800 milligrams they're for my colitis this one here is a vitamin d3 tablet they were giving me vitamin d3 tablets they were the powder chewable ones but they're making me sick so i bought my own i don't think they are strong enough but i am due a blood test soon anyway so i'm gonna see what they say and this little one here is a folic acid tablet i went for a blood test not that long ago and she said my folates were really low but my b12 was fine and from what i know but then again i'm not a doctor pretty sure they're linked so she put me on folate tablets for the next i don't even know how long see how i get on maybe until i get another blood test but these are my tablets for this morning these acicola brown ones are huge by the way <laughs> they are so big like look at them in my hand but luckily I've been taking these tablets since I was like six years old, so I'm quite the pro at taking medication now. Anyway, I'm going to take these and actually get ready for my client now. <laughs> I currently look like a tomato. Oh my god, I'm so red. <gasps> it's so warm today, like absolutely recent, and I'm wearing a hoodie and an apron and all my PPE as well. I love that. So I've just finished work for the day. I've done two clients, so both two long appointments. So I'm done. I'm very excited to be having the rest of the evening off. It is about four o'clock now. So I just need to clean up. As you guys can see, I have all of my stuff out here. So I need to clean up and start making tea, I guess. I don't really know. We've got gusto tonight, but I don't really feel like cooking anything. It's going to take forever. So we have these like beef enchiladas 
I think they only take 15 minutes, so I might make them, maybe. I don't really know. But yeah, I'm going to clean up. I did some really nice sets of nails, by the way. I did two sets of gel toes and Bab and nail art as well. I honestly thought I was going to have a bit more time in between clients today, but I ran over with my first client just because my stomach was cramping so bad. So I just was a little bit slower, but luckily my clients were very understanding and I just kind of explained to them what was going on and why I wasn't feeling too good and whatnot. So yeah. So my desk is all clean, tidy. I need to hoover the rug, but I'm going to do that another day because i need the shark hoover for that everything is clean sanitized oh do you know what i think is making me feel worse as well as not actually at anything today i've had two penguins and a twix this is what it's like when you are a nail technician you just don't have time to eat food and it's just gone four o'clock sorry so i need to eat i'm so hungry right now matt finishes work in five minutes so i'm gonna ring him and see what he fancies for dinner so i'm gonna grab a snack quickly i'm gonna try and jump in the shower at one point and wash my hair i'll show you guys what shampoo i'm using when i do that later on this is two nights tea we're having this from gusto crispy fried chicken breast burgers with fries and garlic mayo that just looks delicious don't know whether mine's gonna look like that but we'll give it a go i think i've had this one before and i'm pretty sure it was nice and yum super easy as well to make so i'm gonna start prepping this now this is tea max is there I thought I'd just quickly show you guys these shampoos that I've been using for my blonde hair. I've just washed my hair right this second, put my PJs on. Not gonna lie, I fell asleep for half an hour after tea. I was so tired. But anyways, and I've been using the L'Oreal Professional Series Expert. So I've got the Blondifier Gloss and the Blondifier Conditioner. These are nice, they smell really yum. Leave your hair feeling really nice, very soft kind of helps detangle as well the conditioner but the only thing is the bottles are absolutely tiny so i've kind of already gone through the conditioner already but i've got like so much of the shampoo left and for purple shampoo i've been using the l'oreal series expert <laughs> such a mouthful magnesium silver shampoo and it is like a purple color as well so you guys can see there it's purple really nice i try not to use it too much it's very very drying so if i do use it i'll try and use something super moisturizing afterward but yeah that's the like shampoos that and conditions that i've been using at the moment i only use this when i feel like my hair looks brassy and that's not really that often maybe just like once every three weeks maybe and then after i've washed my hair I will pop some serum in and then leave it to air dry naturally because I don't want to keep putting heat on it as heat is really bad for your hair, obviously, as you guys will know. So I try to keep my hair as heat free as possible and then if I do style it, I will use the air um, brushing tool that we have, which is quite nice and then obviously I'll use like, like heat protectant and stuff. Yeah, this is what I've been using. I'm just not 100% sure, but obviously this is the first stuff that I've tried with my blonde hair. So I will let you guys know if I find anything that I prefer. It is now a bit later on, so I've just washed my hair as you guys would have seen on the previous clip. And Matt has gone to go and have a shower as well. And we're just going to stay in bed and watch some YouTube or watch a film or something. We both feel so tired. Before my shower, I fell asleep for like half an hour. Body, it just feels so tired and weak. But yeah, I'm very lucky to have Matt looking after me. He takes very good care of me. Make sure I'm drinking enough fluid. Make sure I'm resting. It's like he'll sort me out and he'll make sure that I'm all right. So I'm very lucky to have Matthew. Our dinner tonight was something else. It was so good. Like, so yummy. That's a good thing with Gusto Meals. It's like the food is like restaurant quality. But you get to make it at home. And I actually quite enjoy making them. We've got a really good week this week i think we've got pizza tomorrow like a pepperoni pizza beef enchiladas with yogurt i'm really looking forward to that one then we have spanish chicken roast salad or something like that i can't remember but it sounds nice i'm just about to pick the recipes now so i'll show you guys what we pick let's have a look we've had both hello fresh and gusto and honestly i much prefer gusto it's just more my type of food so if you're a really finicky eater like me you will find gusto so much better plus as well what i've really liked with gusto they have basics so for example let's see they have so they've got like everyday favorites sorry so there's big flavor lasagna here's three cheese veg baked pasta bake which is delicious homemade cheesy beans and chicken goujons this is matt's favorite it is so yummy and it's really easy to make we get that all the time there's like things that you know are going to be nice every week and that you can get so yeah again another reason why i like it i pick them by the way because i'm the fussy eater matt will eat anything <laughs> whereas i'm the fussy one 
so I get to pick the meals and sometimes if I'm feeling brave I'll let him pick something and it's a good way for me to try new foods as well because I get a bit of a phobia of trying new things like food wise but I have got so much better like I've actually started eating burgers I'd never ever eat like a minced meat burger ever because it was like minced meat and I hate minced meat uh, well I used to apparently I like it now and um, what else have I had? pasta, fish, like usually if I was gonna have anything and it was meat based it'd be chicken but I've been trying like beef and all sort of thing and I'm very proud of myself so yeah I've been really trying very hard. So to begin with we've got the spinach and feta tart with crispy potatoes and rocket salad which is delicious we've had that before. This one's a new one they do like limited things every now and then so at the moment it's like burgers and so this is the Belgian Hellman's mayo and chips beef burger it looks delicious. We've had these as well the chicken tinga tacos and then matt loves this one he really likes that one i don't find it very filling so usually i'll do like some homemade chips with it these do fill me by the way it's just like the salads that don't fill me very much this is next week's box as well we've gone for cajun chicken and sweet corn casserole lentil and tomato stuffed portobello mushrooms american sausage sarnie and pickled cucumber relish i'm so excited for that one and then this one I've had before, I don't think Matt's had this, back in the first lockdown. And this one was delicious, it's the open stick sandwich with balsamic onions and chips. That is all go through for the next couple of weeks. Anyway, I'm going to just wait for Matt to get out of the shower. We're probably going to watch a film or maybe carry on watching Rick and Morty. I started watching Rick and Morty yesterday. I think I prefer Solar Opposites, I'm not going to lie. But we are only one episode in of Rick and Morty, so... We'll see how we get on, but I just find Soul Opposites really, really funny. They're both made by the same people and they both have the same voice actors in it, but Soul Opposites is like really, really funny. I have a triple chocolate Tesco's cookie. I'm so excited to eat it. Anyway, I will see you guys a bit later on. 